All right, welcome to more parlor tricks. <laughs> um, you'll quickly find out that these aren't parlor tricks. Uh, when it comes to your memory, it's actually an amazing tool. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to tie it in a little bit more with the Bible. And I plan to make more videos like this, but again, I need to know that this is what my audience is interested in because um, I'm interested in this and I can talk about this all day long. But if it's boring to you or if you're, you feel like you're not getting something out of this, then it's it's like, why am I doing it, right? But I, I, I lately I, I feel that I have to approach the Bible with the idea that when you're reading it, especially for my audience, it's nice to be able to retain what you're reading. So this is why I'm talking about Bible memories, just to give you some ticks, tips and tricks, not ticks, tips and tricks, so that as you're reading, maybe there's some times where you just want to memorize a scripture verse, or maybe you want to remember um, the 12 tribes, or maybe you want to remember the the 12 disciples. I don't know what you want to do with this stuff. So let's go to the whiteboard. And then uh, I might do this live one time because I think it's, it's, it's important to have some interaction with this. So yesterday or last night, I talked about uh, numbering things. So we created, uh, what did we do last night? I'm just trying to think. Oh, we had 20 objects. And hopefully you can remember. So what I'm going to do is if you haven't watched that video, watch that video and then come back to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. This is just a refresher from last night. So what was seven? What was eight? What was two? And I have to think for a second. What was 12? That's good enough. Just those. So what is this one? What is, was seven? What was eight? Give you a little bit of time for this. What was two? And then what was 12 based on our last video? So if you said eggs for 12, you'd be right. Then if you said sink for two, you'd be right. And if you said hourglass, because look at the eight looks like an hourglass, you'd be right. And if you said dice, you'd be right. Cool, eh? All right, so now let's go back to, let's do something fun. Let's let's figure out these, um, the 12 tribes of Israel. I have them, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them all down. And this is why I don't use notes. Let me just come back to the screen here. Stop share. I've been practicing not using notes when I am hitting record. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to talk about until I hit record because I want to get more comfortable on camera without looking at my notes because then it feels like you're having a conversation. Now, it might look like I'm looking at my notes here because I got to I got to get either a smaller monitor or something because my camera is actually above my monitor and if i flip this over let's see if you could see this here this is what i stare at i stare at my monitor and as you could see i have my coffee and then over here is my phone upside down so i'm not cheating or anything like this there's no notes up here just my little thing here so that's it so and this is where i park my cameras right there and it's a little bit above eye level, just so you have an idea here. So maybe I'll, I'll try and look at try and look at here. It's almost like I need to have my cat, my chair a little bit higher or something. So I'll figure that out. Time, but I'm staring literally at myself at my glasses when I talk. So I don't. Know. Anyways, okay. So let's go back to the screen. Just wanted to show you guys that, that I'm not like, I don't have a teleprompter or something that, that I'm using. So let's go, let's memorize the 12 tribes of Israel. I don't know if you remember uh, when Joseph 
invited his brothers around the table and Joseph sat off probably somewhere over here with by himself sat on a chair by himself and then his servants sat at another table and then his brothers all sat around the table I don't know how they would have sat maybe it was something like I don't know maybe it was a square table I don't know let's go here What are we at here? Four, eight, twelve. Okay, can't be that many chairs. Let me just erase this for a second. <laughs> so let's go three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What are we looking at here? Let's go one, two. <laughs> These are supposed to be chairs. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So Joseph put them around the table in birth order, and we're going to do the same thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the initials, and we'll see if we can kind of figure this out as we go. So we know. Benjamin is the youngest. We know that right out of the gate. So I'm going to go in a clockwise fashion. I'm going to start off with Reuben, Simeon, uh, Levi, Judah, and then we got Dan, and then we got, we got, uh, Naphtali, Naphtali, you will. I'll just say Nap. <laughs> then we have Gad. Oops. What's that? Right here. We got Gad. We got Asher. And then we got Issachar. This is always the name that I forget. And we got Zebulun, and then we have our good buddy Joseph, who was later split into two tribes, and then we have Benjamin. So that's just from the top of my head. I have I could see the twelve tribes. So again, we got Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah. This is the birth order: Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. And uh, I should have looked this up, but I think he had five times portion of what everyone else had when it came to food. So maybe he could have had, I, I believe it was, I should have looked this up before, but maybe he had like five plates and they kept bringing it. Whereas everybody else had one, <laughs> one plate. <laughs> um, okay. So we have that, we have the 12 tribes. So let me erase this. So let's go, let's for fun, let's do this. Let's go here. This is all related to the 12 tribes. You could do this for um, the disciples as well, really. So let's go seven. And then what I want to do is in another video is I want to show you how I do this stuff, but I want to give you just a bit of a teaser to go, wow, that's actually fun because I'm not using my, my um, memory in the normal way that you think. Like I'm not like constantly rehearsing this with recipe cards and going over this again and again and going, okay, Joseph, 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 Joseph. I'm not doing that. I just, uh, I looked at the 12 tribes and then I put it to memory. It took me maybe three minutes or something. And I used kind of the same the same numbering system as what I showed you guys in the last video, and I applied it to the this to the um to the tribe. So if you remember, this is a pencil. So I picture Reuben writing 
uh, with a pencil. And this is Simeon. So I picture Simeon at a sink. And this is Levi. I picture Levi at a three ring circus, you know, in the tents. The Levites were were responsible for setting up the tents, so they're setting up the tents for the circus, because three represents circus. Okay, three ring circus. So four is a track. So Judah is on track with his lineage uh, to uh, for Jesus Christ to show up in his lineage, and then five is a star is Dan and this is kind of a mystery so sometimes I just put a little star beside Dan because I don't know what happened to him in Revelation the book of Revelation because Dan is not there and then six is Nap Telly because if you remember um, six is bullet and bullet there's six bullets in a gun when you get killed you're you are six feet under so naphtali naphtali so you're taking a nap when we die in christ we are asleep in christ so we're taking a nap that's six so seven is dice and that's gad no that's um uh it's not gad not gad not gad who is it Wow, lost my brain for a second here. Um, I'll come back to him. Asher is eight. Asher is eight. And you could do this also by process of elimination as well. So nine is Issachar. Because that's baseball, I think, of Issachar being a pitcher. And then this is Fingers. So this was dice. So it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Dice. Uh, what did I say? Oh yeah, ten is is Zebulun. Oh, it was Neph or it was um, Gad. <laughs> I think that's the first name I thought was Gad, and I thought, no, that's not right. So this is Joseph, because if you think about it, um, Joseph. Um, it's split into two tribes, 11. So there's one and two. So basically Ephraim and um, Manasseh. And basically uh, you get points when you score a a field goal or a touchdown. The, the referee goes like this, makes a goalpost sound or <laughs> symbol, if you will. So it's like goalpost, lifting up two arms. So then Joseph is number 11 and he represents the two tribes the two half tribes as well and then of course we have benjamin so benjamin is eggs and benjamin is very fragile according to jacob he's like oh no don't take my youngest because joseph's not around so if you take my jung my youngest i don't think i'm, I'm gonna make it so benjamin was treated like eggs very fragile very fragile. So you have to, there's five ways of memorizing. You have to focus. You have to pick a location, which is for this example, I'm putting them uh, within these numbers. So that's the location. Like one is Reuben, two is Simeon, three is Levi, four is Judah. So that's the location. And then um, you have, what is it? Focus, location, code. So you got to codify this stuff. What do we mean by codify? Well, you have to have a bit of a picture. So I codified Ruben by saying he had a pencil and he's writing. It's not the best one. It's not the best one to stand out. Uh, two is Simeon at a sink. So I'm codifying it. Three, it's a circus uh, with Levi. So you got to codify it and then you got to put an action to it and then you got to review it. If you review this just for a couple minutes a day, again, it, it can get confusing if you use the same set of numbers all the time, all the time. You're going to eventually have layers of stuff going on. So you might have to build a different different story or something around that instead of just using numbers all the time. 
because pretty soon you're going to have layers under the number one. And if you go to the grocery store and you need to remember four things, you're going to be thinking about Reuben, uh, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, all this kind of stuff. All right, so let's do something a little bit different. Let's go to... Uh, let us go to clear all the drawings. Let's do the 12 disciples because this one was a tough one for me. So what I did is because I like golf, I decided to uh, put the disciples in golf carts. <laughs> so in six golf carts. So these are golf carts. You might not might not look like it but they are trust me trust me on this one these are golf carts in the back are golf bags and yeah i know it's kind of weird that disciples are going golf but i don't know sometimes i think that one of the two main sports in heaven are going to be golf and baseball <clears throat> excuse me do you remember what nine was? Which tribe nine represented? Issachar, right? Because Issachar is a pitcher. I'm just, that was just the way that I remember it because nine is baseball. What was seven for the tribes? Do you remember? Well, it was Gad because I think of it. Gad is Gad awful at rolling dice, at rolling sevens. Because that's what seven is, dice. So that's how I remember that one. And then three is Levi. It's like a three-ring circus, right? And Levi was responsible for setting up tents. Okay, so let's just use initials to get this ball going here. So um, or I'll just write it out. Okay, so we got... This is golf cart number one. So the announcer's making... Uh, making preparations and he starts calling out the disciples um, saying uh, your start time is at like 1 10 p.m. Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. So that's in golf cart number one. So let's go S and A. So, and then you got the clubs back here. Okay, so then the next grouping is going to be, and this one's um, a little bit easier as well because these guys always hang out together. So this is James. Uh, son, son of Zebedee. And then you got John, his brother. I think in, in the Chosen, it's called Big James and Little John or something like that. So JJ, I think that one is pretty easy. And we're going to get to the tricky ones. So you got that. And then, so now we have uh, golf cart number three, which is Philip. And if you remember what number five was as a numbering, it was a star. So Philip was a star because he... He witnessed to the Ethiopian, was translated to another town, and uh, ended up living there. I think he had seven daughters that were like prophets, prophetesses. And then we have, uh, uh, what's this guy here? Bart. Bart. Hopefully I can spell this right. Arthal, that's an L. Lo, you. Well, it's such a long name. Bartholomew, which is also known as Nathaniel. Let me just minimize this here. Nathaniel. Nathan, A E L. A E L. All right. So, oh man, that's a long name. Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel. So this is um, 
That's number six. And then number seven, we are getting to, who are these guys? These guys are, oh, what's this guy's name? Oh, man. Thaddeus? No. Tom, Thomas. I think. Thomas. Why did I say Thaddeus? Don't know. Thomas. Oh, I might have spelt that wrong. Thomas. O-U-S. Yeah, here we go. Uh, can't even spell Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Okay, we got to do Philip and Nathaniel here. And then we got uh, Thomas. Also known as Didymus. Did he, did he, must. I had some kind of a way of remembering that name. Did, did you must doubt? <laughs> so dumb, so dumb. Still working on that one. So that's Thomas. And then, of course, he gets to be with uh, Matthew. Imagine those two hanging out together. Matthew, and his name is also called Levi. Levi. So, so far, I'm pretty happy because I got eight disciples. Most people can get like four or six, or they get them out of order and all this kind of stuff, which is fine. It's fine to get them out of order, but uh, so Matthew, also called Levi. And then this is where it gets a little bit trickier. We have James. James, um, I don't know who this guy is, but he's the son of, like I'm saying, I know James, but I'm saying I don't know who this guy is, his dad, because his dad's name was Alpha E-U-S, son of Alphas, so I don't know who that was, and then we have, um, uh, that it Thaddeus 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 might be spelt wrong, but that's um Judas, also known as Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but Judas. All right, and then we have uh, who's this last guy here? We have oh, another. We have Simon, not Simeon. This is Simeon, not Simon. Oh, no, that's Simon. <laughs> Simon. Jesus always called him Simon. This is Simeon. Simeon. I wonder if he's from the tribe of Simeon, being named that. I just wonder. And Matthew, from the tribe of Levi. You know, you kind of wonder about this kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, Simeon. Uh Maybe I got her backwards. Simon, I might have. Man, this is what happens to your memory when it goes like in my head. I'm like, is it Simon, Simon? Is it Simeon, Peter? Simon, Peter, Simon, Peter. And then Simeon, the zealot. Hopefully it's not Simon, the zealot. I think it's Simeon, the zealot. Simeon. And then we got uh, Judas. You could say son of Iscariot, or you could just say Judas Iscariot. Is care re but and I might have spelled it wrong. All right, so uh, now let's fill this in here. So we got James and we got Judas. Let's go JT because we got our, we already have JJ. So JT. And then we have Simon, and then we have Judas SJ. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to check my phone. 
and see if we got yeah simon oh they're both simon i don't know why i called him simeon that, that makes it easier calling him simon the zealot i don't know why i was saying simeon so escariot i s c a r i o t escariot maybe he's from the tribe of issachar not sure matthew got uh didymus i got nathaniel I think I spelled that right. Bartholomew. Okay. All right. So I got most of them. So again, let's go back to this screen. So we got all these guys here. And that's, you know, like, unless you practice this stuff over and over again, you're going to forget all this stuff. You're going to forget it. But I, I didn't use a numbering system is my point. I put them in golf carts. So I pictured I pictured all these guys <clears throat> excuse me on a golf course. So then you got Simeon again, Simon, <laughs> Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, which is also known, which is also called uh Nathaniel. Thomas, also known as Didymus, Matthew, also known as Levi, James the son of Alphaeus. Thaddeus, also known as Judas, uh, Simon, oops, helps me, see, even I can make mistakes, Simon, but I think because I was doing the 12 tribes, I started calling these guys Simeon, so funny, so Simon the Zealot, and then Judas Iscariot, Iscariot, so the one that betrayed Jesus right there. Okay, so do you remember what uh, what number three is for the tribes of Israel? Do you remember? Think of Three Ring Circus. Do you know what that was? Who that was? Which tribe that was? It's kind of like this guy right here. Levi. Three Ring Circus setting up tents. Just like the tabernacle. Because the Levites, the Levi's were in charge of setting up the tents. Cool, right? Okay, so let's go. Let's clear this screen here. I hope you guys are thinking this stuff is fun. It's fun for me. Okay, so we went through the 12 tribes. We went through the 12 uh, disciples. And again, you got to keep going through that stuff. Like just review it each day. Well, come back and watch this video and just play around with it. <clears throat> draw pictures, draw golf carts, and then fill them in with their initials and stuff. But you have to make it stand out is the whole point. So here's one. Let's go through. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go. How can I do this here? Let's see. Let's do this. Let's stretch. Whoops. Let me let's stretch this out so you can see me a little bit more here. So let's do, uh, what was I going to do? Did the 12 tribes, we did this, we did that. Um, this is kind of, oh yeah, the 10 commandments. Let's do the 10 commandments. So we got one, to actually let's do it this way this is this is i'll show you how i memorize the 10 commandments and then uh maybe this will make more sense so what i do is i i create a file because this is how our brain works and it's all in ron white's book on improving your memory in 30 days um i create files in my brain filing system so that I can store information. Okay. And I'll show you how I do this and then I'll, I'll stop the video because, because this is getting to be a long video, but I hope you're getting something out of this. This isn't parlor tricks. This is actually how I try to remember stuff when it comes to names in the Bible and that kind of stuff. So I might do a video on, some more golden nuggets. This is nine. 
and then let's do this one more 10 okay so this is representing the 10 commandments so what i have as uh my my files is i would do something like this i would go um uh golf golf course So this is my filing system based on, uh, they call this, or, or uh, what's his name, Ron White, calls this city files. Okay, so it, you do this in your town. You just go through your town systematically and you, you create 10 files. So I live in Cochrane. So when I come down the hill in Cochrane, there's a golf course. And then at the bottom of the hill, there is a skating rink. I can spell skating rink. Of course, I'm Canadian. There's a skating rink. And then um, and then I have the jiu-jitsu club that I go to. So, yeah, so I can just say Dallas. That's the name of the club. Dallas Jiu-Jitsu. Can I even have another kind of a thing I do? And yeah, so that's good. Dallas Club. And then here we have Subway. I like eating Subways. And I think of Jarrett sometimes. Remember that commercial way back when before he got into trouble? Big Jarrett. He lost like 100 pounds or whatever. Um, so we got Subway and then we have Lights. And once you watch this, you might be able to just remember the Ten Commandments after this from now on. <laughs> and then you have the Shell Station. So I'm just making my way home, what I'm doing. So I got the Shell Station. And then there's an on-ramp, basically. It's like a clover leaf that they, they're building right now. And that'll probably be done in another year or so. So I just call it a ramp. And then there's a gas station. It's called... Petro Canada. And then there's a police station. A police station. So these are, again, these are called city files. So this is where I can stash things that I want to remember. And for this instance, we want to remember the Ten Commandments. And then I have home, my home, my house, which is pretty close to the police station. All right, so in my instance, the first commandment is thou shall not have any other gods. You should only worship one god. So Tiger Woods, to me, would be like a god to some people. So don't worship Tiger Woods. All right, that's how I remember that. Skating rink. Thou shall not have any graving, graven images. So I think of Wayne Gretzky with the pair of skates writing the great one on the ice. So when I come down the hill, I see the great one, Wayne Gretzky writing, thou shall not have any graven images. And then at the jujitsu club, not that this happens at our club, but I've been to clubs where people get angry and get upset and they get, you know, maybe they use the Lord's name in vain or whatever. Uh, my sensei is a Christian. So that does not happen at our club. But it's basically do not swear or do not use the Lord's name in vain. And this is respected because we got a lot of Christians at the jujitsu club. So we do not use the Lord's name in vain there. So then number four, Subway. Closest thing I could think of is uh, eating a Subway on Sunday. I, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Sunday is not the Sabbath. I know, I know. But this is just Saturday is a Sabbath. But if I say eating food on the Sabbath or whatever, instead of prepping a meal on Friday, it's going to offend some people. So what we do on Sundays is usually we go out for dinner after. So I tied it in with Sabbath. That's that's the only reason. I'm not saying Sunday is the Sabbath. Sunday is the start of the week. We start the week by worshiping Jesus Christ on a Sunday, the beginning of the week for us. We're not we're not saying that's the Sabbath. Sabbath is Saturday. I got to make make it clear. I'm I'm using the store Subway 
to store the Sabbath because it reminds me when we go to church, we go out to eat after church. That's all. Okay. And then five is honor your parents, honor the lights. Cause if there's a red light, you stop at the lights. So that's, that's five. So lights, red light, yellow, green light, honor your parents, do what they say. They don't, they say, don't do this. Don't do that. They say, do this, do that, that kind of thing. So that's honor, honor your, your parents. And then six is kill. Remember bullet six feet under all that stuff, kill shell. So I just picture a formula one race car coming out and crashing as the shell logo. It's a red race car, all this kind of stuff. And then seven ramp is uh, don't commit adultery. So are you're going to an off ramp and on the side of the ramp is a cliff. So you're going off of a cliff. That's seven. So then eight is don't steal. Like don't walk into a Petro Canada gas bar and steal chocolate bars. Like I used to do as a little kid. I used to go into grocery stores when I was like, six or seven years old and then I'd walk up to the chocolate bars and I'd grab the chocolate bar and then I'd walk out the store and the guy would say hey what do you do a kid put that down and I'd drop the chocolate bar and walk out of the store stealing and then number nine is um um it's lying basically don't bear false witness against your neighbor Okay. And then 10 is thou shall not covet thy neighbor's home. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's manservant or maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, or anything in his home. So that's how I, that's how I remember the Ten Commandments. So now let me ask you, what was three? You remember? We're at the jujitsu club. I might have spelled jujitsu wrong. <laughs> um, don't take the Lord's name in vain. What, do you remember what two is? What commandment? Think of Wayne Gretzky, the great one, carving his name, his image into the ice. Maybe it even looks like him. And he's the great one. So don't have false images. Don't have any other images. And then, of course, don't worship Tiger Woods, although he's a fan, was a fantastic golfer, still is. Um, we shall not have any other gods. Do you remember what lights was? Number five. Do you remember what that one is? We got red, yellow, green. Do you remember what that was? Honor your parents. Do you remember what the Formula One racer car, red Formula One racer, the Shell logo, what happened? It peeled out, smashed, smashed the car, and they died. They killed someone. Sounds kind of morbid, right? But that's six. Thou shalt not kill. Ramp is thou shalt not commit adultery because you're going, you got two ramps. One is doing the right thing. One is doing the wrong thing. And if you commit adultery, you're going to an off ramp to a cliff. Uh, Petro, remember my chocolate bar story. And then remember, don't, don't lie. Don't bear false witness at the police station. And then 10 is uh, don't covet someone out your neighbor's home, your neighbor's wife, your neighbor's maid servant, man servant. Don't covet any their their ox, their ass, anything, anything that belongs to them. Okay, that's enough for today because your heads are probably full. So is mine. But the nice thing is, this stuff is just it's in your head now, and you don't you stored it in these files, and then I could just ask you about the tribes. I could just say something like, "What's ten? Remember, 10, 10 in the previous video was fingers. So I just picture Zebulin go, ooh, Zebulin, 10 fingers. I know it's kind of dumb, but you got to be dumb with this kind of stuff. Remember 11? Two sticks. Tribe of Joseph, Ephraim, 
Manasseh. Uh, what about three? Do you remember what three was when it came to the tribes? Three ring circus, setting up tents. Do you know who that was? How about number one? Do you remember who the eldest was? That should be pretty easy. Do you know who 12 was? Eggs, delicate. Ooh, so fragile, so fragile. How about... How about five? Do you remember who that was? I put a star beside it because this guy is missing in the book of Revelation. Just on one final note, how about the three Hebrew boys that went, that were uh, taken to Babylon? We always seem to remember the Hebrew name for Daniel, which is Daniel. We never seem to use his Babylonian name, which is... <clears throat> Belshazzar, but when it comes to the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we use their Babylonian names. We don't use their Hebrew names. So do you remember what their Hebrew names are? I just use the acronym HMA, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So that's the three. So Hananiah is Shadrach. Meshach is Mishael, and then Abednego is Azariah. So that's how I remember those three Hebrew names. So now I could say Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah. So that's the three. So anyways, you can go on and on, but it's kind of fun to have lists, and then you just play games with people. You just go, what's, uh, what's the second commandment? Wayne Gretzky, right? What's the first commandment? Tiger Woods. What's what's three with the Ten Commandments? What what was the the fo the file that I used? It was my jujitsu club, right? So what is three? What is the third commandment? Don't swear. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Do you remember what five was? It was lights, right? Red, yellow, green, lights. Honor your parents. Honor what they tell you to do. Hey, stop. Go. Slow down. Whatever. Do you remember Petro Canada? That was number eight. Do you remember? Do you remember what I did there? I stole a chocolate bar when I was a kid. How about nine? Thou shalt not bear false witness at the police station saying he did it. My neighbor did it. You're lying. Don't do it. Don't bear false witness. And then, of course, 10 at home is thou shalt not cover your neighbor's house. That's 10. Don't cover it in your neighbor's house. Don't put your fingers on any of his possessions. Don't touch his wife. Don't touch his manservant. Don't touch his maidservant. Don't touch his ox. Don't touch his ass. Don't touch anything that belongs to him. Don't covet after anything. Do you remember four, which is Subway? Do you remember what we stashed in that store? The Sabbath. So now you kind of have the ramp. Do you know what the ramp was? The on-ramp? So one way leads to righteousness. The other way leads to a cliff. Do you remember what that was? Number seven? It's a, a adultery. Six is the formula or Formula One car coming out of the shell, smashing into someone, killing them. Thou shalt not kill. See how this works? Like I could just... 12 tribes, they're all there. Numbers, Simeon's washing dishes at a sink. It's number two. I could put them in order. I could put them in reverse order. I can go Benjamin, Joseph, and go all the way backwards, Zebulun. Eshikar, uh, it's a car. And just go Asher and just go backwards in time. Gad. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what the order is. The The 12 disciples is a little bit harder. But the only way to overcome that is to actually picture Peter smashing a rock with his golf club and then getting into the golf cart all mad and looking at his brother Andrew keeping score going, man, you broke that window. 
Now you know who's in golf cart one. Because he smashed the rock into the windshield, even though it's plexiglass, but he broke a hole in it because he was using a rock and Andrew's mad at Peter. So we know the disciples sometimes get got disgruntled with each other. Next golf cart is James and John. Big John barely can squeeze, or Big James, I, could, I should say, as soon as he sits in the golf cart, it goes like this. And then little John slides over to him. And then you got Philip. Um, and then who's the other guy with him? See, even I forget. You have to, you have to build the image so much that it actually sticks in your head. You have to build it up. And otherwise, if you don't do that, you, you can start getting mixed up with the 12 disciples and the 12 tribes and all this kind of stuff. And like I said, the, the 12 disciples are hard because there's guys, there's two guys called Simon. There's two guys called James. There's two guys called Judas. And you have to write this stuff out because if you don't rehearse it, you're going to forget it, and you have to build a story. It's easy now to remember the first golf cart because I built a story around that. And then the second one, James and John, now I see that cart like this. So if I did that with all six golf carts and really build the story so that you, you don't even guess anymore, you have to visually see them. That's my whole point. Because we're just doing this together. So I just went through some of this a little bit last night. I just quickly glanced at the 12 and then I went to bed of the disciples. And then this morning as we're going, I'm like, okay, I'm going to draw this out and see if I can do it from scratch. Cause I've always struggled with the 12 disciples. And then last night I just made sure ironclad that I have the 12 tribes done. And then the Hebrew boys, the three Hebrew boys is locked in forever. But the trick is now putting them out of order. And reverse order and all this kind of stuff. And again, it's it's harder with the disciples because they have like there's there's it almost feels like there's like 18 names that you have to remember. It's not just Judas, it's it's all their other names as well that's mixed in there. So, anyways, my head is getting full. But I hopefully you got something out of this. And again, the idea is we're learning together. We're building this up together. This is all in Ron White's book. This is basically the first couple of lessons. That's it, what we went through. And the more meaningful you make your files, the more it stands out. And then you can start putting things in there. We can start, you know, hopefully in a couple of weeks, we could start inserting scripture verses into our files. So my golf course, I can start putting Romans 1. And then we go down the hill to the skating rink and we can put Romans 2 there. Then we go to the jiu-jitsu club and then I put Romans Romans 3 and Romans 4 and subway. And then you start doing that and you just build and you build. And basically the whole town of Cochrane is going to have files so that when I'm driving by Wendy's, I'll see scripture verses show up. I don't even have to remember. I just have to think of Wendy's or drive by Wendy's and then I'll see verses. So this is how it works. So hopefully you get this. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Start your day. Start practicing these techniques and start incorporating scriptures and you'll, you'll have fun with it. You'll have fun. You'll, uh, you'll, pleasantly surprise your friends they'll be like oh how do you remember those three hebrew names i could never do that how do you do that how do you remember the 12 tribes and in reverse order it's kind of a little party trick if you will all right see you later bye for now